Hello and welcome to Acoustic Review. My name is Ben Morgan Brown and today I'm looking at the S1 Pro Portable PA from Bose Amplification. The S1 is a multi-purpose and multi-positional personal PA and features two combo XLR stroke jack input channels, both of which have tone match EQ for acoustic guitar and vocals, as well as treble, bass and reverb controls. A single 3.5mm jack input channel with a volume control, Bluetooth streaming for audio playback, a TRS line output, it comes with a rechargeable battery which charges from the mains, it has an auto EQ function which adjusts the EQ of the unit depending on the position that it is placed in, it weighs just over 7kg and has an RRP of £575. The small PA market is very competitive at the moment and for Bose to bring out a single speaker system at this price point is a bit of a departure from their previous systems. So let's have a listen to the S1 Pro now and come back afterwards for my thoughts. For the next part of this review, I've recorded a small loop onto a guitar looper pedal which I'll be playing back through the Bose S1. I'll then show you the difference that the Tone Match EQ makes, as well as running through the range of the bass, treble and reverb controls. First thing that struck me about the S1 is its compact size, it's very compact and also very light. The build quality seems very good and I really like the fact that there are rubber pads on all areas which would be touching the floor in the different positions you can place the S1. So that leads me to believe that the S1 would be very stable in a performance situation. There was a mysterious piece of green material stuck to the control panel which I assume is not there deliberately. But aside from that, it's a very classy looking piece of kit and would look professional in any situation. Setting up the S1 was almost as easy as simply plugging it in. With all the controls set at midway, I was immediately impressed by the sound. It was big, fat, clear and surprisingly loud given its size. With the tone match set to off, the acoustic guitar was big and powerful sounding with a lot of low end. Switching to the acoustic setting took out a little bit of low end mud and cleaned up the mids a little bit. Now initially I did miss the powerful low end that I was getting from the off position, but actually it was quite easy to dial back in some oomph just using the bass control. The reverb is very musical sounding and even at extreme settings didn't get too out of control, 
Though to be honest, I think the most musical sounding settings were around about the 12 o'clock mark. The dispersion was very good for a single speaker. Even though I was sat to one side and slightly behind the unit, I could definitely hear my guitar and vocals very clearly. Moving the S1 into different positions didn't result in a drastic change in tone. In fact, it sounded very similar whether it was on a speaker stand, on the floor, or on its side in a monitor position. In the empty studio, I felt like there was a slight boxiness to the vocal sound, but I think in a room full of people, that boxiness wouldn't be noticeable, and it certainly wasn't a bad vocal tone. The EQ section is quite limited with just a single treble and bass control for both channels, but it seems to my ear that the voice of the S1 is already very well suited to acoustic guitar and vocals. So that limited EQ wasn't too much of a hindrance, and the tone match settings for both acoustic guitar and vocals did help a lot. If you have a particularly tricky pickup in your guitar, which does need some specific EQ to make it sound its best, then you probably are going to have to add an external EQ to this system. But having said that, I think any run-of-the-mill pickup is going to sound good through the S1. I did find that for my voice, which is a little bit softer than some other people's voices out there, I did have to crank the volume on the microphone channel to get it to balance with the guitar. Because there's no input gain on the channel, that did mean that it was a little bit hard to get those two sound sources sounding at the right level. So maybe using a microphone with a higher output might be an option for those of you with a softer voice. I think the S1 would be great for soloists or singer guitarists playing in small to medium venues. The sound is really good and I actually very much enjoyed the sound of my guitar coming through the speaker and just wanted to carry on playing, which I think is always a great sign with a piece of equipment. I also think it would be good as a personal monitor to use when you're playing on stage with others. Although there's no DI out, there is a line out which you could give to a house DI, and then you could use the S1 for your on-stage sound. I think this is a job that the S1 would excel at. The various positioning options mean that it can be used in a wide variety of roles. I think therefore it's a piece of kit that could earn its keep in lots of different situations. For £575, I think the S1 is good value for money. Acoustic guitars, vocals and music all sound great through it and I think it's something that would be very handy for lots of different players in lots of different styles of gigs. Ideally I'd like there to be a little bit more control over the EQ and gain structure but in terms of plug and play usability, portability and great sound I can't think of much else at this price point that would beat it. In fact I would happily use the Bose S1 myself for my own gigs and I can't think of much higher praise than that. I hope you've enjoyed this video from Acoustic Review. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on other social media to be kept up to date with new videos and I look forward to seeing you next time.